Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to more Pokemon Rejuvenation. Last episode, uh, quite a lot of stuff happened. So we went to the uh, Scholar District, went to the library and we learned that the Team Zen we're fighting right now is actually the second iteration of a Team Zen back in the Myro region, which was pretty inter interesting under a different leader as well. Uh, we then met Kanan who said that Crystal wants to speak to us. So we came to the desert, um, not intentionally, went to go to a village, but we got teleported here instead. And then, um, ooh, what's this? This is, um, oh, the trial, okay. We haven't done that just yet. <laughs> yeah, made our way to the village we need to go to, and then Damien came out and said that Alexandra had gone missing, we need to go find her, and a cave we already explored, because um, we got told we can explore before we head to the village, and that's what I did. And um, just ha just happened to be my luck, the one cave I do explore is the cave we now have to go to, uh, because Marina has been tasked to go there. But Damien doesn't think she's capable of, you know, being safe there on her own. So we're going to make sure we're going to... Oh, no, 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 no. Not going that way. Not going that way. Going to the uh, the place she's gone to to make sure she's safe. But we're not going that way because I got mugged. Actually, it doesn't even matter, does it? We can just cut through here. Last episode, I got mugged for like 80 grand by this stupid vital plume. Oh, my God. He mugged me like eight times. Nine times now. We're mugged. How much money do I actually own on me now? I have literally nothing. I have no money at all. I'm kind of glad last episode I bought loads of ultra potions and everything because otherwise we'd be kind of screwed. That that Valplume, he literally mugged me like nine, ten times. I was just trying to explore. There's got to be a way to go and battle that Valplume just to, uh, you know, get our, get our money back. Otherwise, <laughs> just we're going to have to build that back up. At the start of last episode, I had like 150 grand, and now I have nothing. But yeah, we pretty much explored this like place last episode, so I'm just going to kind of whiz through to the place we need to be. There was a few places that kind of did stick out to me, but obviously because we came here when we weren't really supposed to, nothing really happened. And did I see anyone at the boat? No. Okay, there's a boat. You can't read what's uh, scratched on it, it's a bit messed up. Uh... And put a headphone in because it fell out. <laughs> so we go down and then we head west. Now I'm thinking Raina's gotta be up here. Because this place just looked like it just screamed to me like legendary battle or like a boss battle or something's gonna happen over here. No. Something surely is gonna happen here at some point. Right, so if nothing's happening here, then it's got to be where that save point was, or heal point. Oh, am I even healed up? Oh, okay. If it doesn't reset, I might go and... Oh, I didn't... Inactive. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to save it. If we ever get into a battle, then I'll probably just reset and go and heal up. There she is. Oh. Ugh, who's this creep now? Is that woman Alexandra? What do you do to her? Sorry, Foltsy. I'm not really a trainer. Please take care of this guy. Okay. Hooded boy. Zeptu. Zepto? Zeptu. Uh is it not is it water type because of the tail blue or is it I don't know what you're supposed to be right now, but I'm gonna will a wispier. We're gonna kill us. Oh, we lived. Oh, of course we miss. Of course we miss. Okay. Um, luckily, I have an ultra potion. I love the music. I really do. Right. Will o wisp. Land. Yes. Okay. Now we heal up again. And we can take more hits. <laughs> oh man, sucks to be you, dude. Sucks to be you. Nice. One more ice beam. Finish you off. Luckily, it wasn't too tough. Got 20 grand for that. Oh, nice. Is that all you got? Seriously? 
Maybe I shouldn't have been worried about this guy. Alexandra, are you doing okay? Where am I? Oh, my head is spinning. That guy won't be bothering you anymore. I sent him packing. I see. Thank you for protecting me, Ren. But what, did you say Ren? Ah, <sighs> I guess I can't really hide it anymore. Ren? Reina? We've been looking all over for you, ever since you left. Why'd you leave us? Why? We can talk about all of this later. Right now, we need to get Alexandra out of here. Right, okay, we'll help you. Oh, okay. Thank you again, Ren. If it weren't for you, I don't think I would've... I'd be mean to ask. But what happened down there? Sounds not rude or anything. No, it's okay. I was waiting for Kanan and Voltsy to show up. But then soon after, this guy appeared and said that he found Kanan and Voltsy hostage in the Voidal Chasm. I didn't want to involve my brother because he already doesn't trust me. Oh, okay, that text just went flying ahead and all I said. So, by a man riding floating skateboard? That sounds, um, kind of fake. Reyna! I'm oh, sorry, but it does. It does sound strange, but... Ouch. <laughs> Are you really okay, Alexandra? I'm fine, I'm just a little winded is all. I'm going to go back to the village. Please come by when you can. Alright, see ya. Is it really okay to let her go off by herself like that? She'll be okay. I don't think that guy will come back. What about you? Ren, I've been looking everywhere for you. I left because I had to get out of that golden leaf town. Between everyone in the town and, uh, Nakrissa, I was no longer interested in it being a citizen. Why don't you take me with you? I would have went. I know. <laughs> but, um, Reyna, there's something I need to tell you. It's probably better I tell you myself than letting Voltsy help me. What? What is it? I might have joined Team Zen? At some point? <laughs> That's funny. But really, what is it? You're not joking. But why would you join cr the uh, some criminal creeps like Team Zen? Uh, I don't e even know what to say to you. I wanted to believe in you, but this this is just too upsetting. I know you're upset, but I have my reasons. You just have to trust me on this one. How can I trust you after you go and do something like this? Men to Sashila Village? Alexandra wanted me to visit her. Sounded like she wanted to talk to you too, Voltsy. I'll meet you there. Okay. The only question I have is... Oh, the music's just gone. There you go, I'll come back after this. The only question I have is, how do I get to this village? Oh, okay, we're in trap. Without getting mugged. That is the biggest mystery right now. Get into this village without getting mugged. Have all the Pokemon to mug you as well? It had to be a Vile Plume. Makes sense, because obviously Vile Plume can just put you to sleep and then whatnot, or paralyze you or poison you, just threaten to give you, you know, the antidote for the, some money or whatever. Alright, what can we find around here? Oh. We found a bone! Gotta be something right here. Ah, oh, nothing. Really. Oh, I don't think we can get this. Hey, got it just the last, uh, last hit. And this one too. Where is everything? Go down here. Oh. Whatever that is. Moonstone. Oh, that's a moonstone. Okay. All right. Maybe we can go. This. Yeah, so it's a shiny. We got a shiny cacturn last episode then. Okay, not a shadow one. The shiny, like, rate must have been increased so much in this game, well, this update compared to other ones, because my luck has never been this good. Never. I wish it would have been this good, but maybe one day I'll find a way out of this place. Good luck, my friend. I'm rooting for you. Just. Try not get mugged. Ooh, a level 70 Nidder King? You better bet your butt I'm gonna capture this. 
Earth Power already has a good move. I actually want to try and get this. Poison's thing. Could be better, but we've got TMs. This could come in handy for later on. Sweet. Right, let's pop a repel actually, because... I need to actually explore to find out where I'm going. And this loss of music is... There you go, we've got music back. You want to battle? I'm, I'm okay with this. Actually, I'm not, because I'm actually quite weak as it is. So we're going to lose this battle. Or we'll lose this fight. So I'm just going to go into uh, revive, lick me, and then we can go from there. The question is, can we outspeed you? I doubt it. Actually, we right. No, okay. Fine. It's all good. Ambi Pomp. Can't go into Ash and go them stacking shots, so. Discharge it is! With that Voidal Cavern, though, it still makes me think there's gotta be. That one area. There's gotta be something there. Like, so something will spawn there in the future. Dude, am I really gonna get destroyed by this stupid trainer? God, I love the Final Fantasy music so much. It gets me excited because I'm always uh, level 70 on Final Fantasy 14. Woo. If you guys play that, let me know, man. I've been grinding away at it for so long. So long. The problem is, I just keep changing my job class. Was tank and then I'm DPS. Was a uh, dra well, uh, I want to go back to Dragoon. Was a red mage. I'm currently a samurai. And I'm actually, I'm, I love it, loving samurai, but I want to go back to Dragoon. Dragoon is is cool. Uh, let's go ice beam. Trick room. Okay. Critical hit. Oh no. Gotta land the Will O' Wisp. Nice. Okay. That was close. Can no way to go back to this village to heal up because we desperately need to. How much money do I? Oh wow. Okay, you can heal up there. I'm not gonna use it. In case we have to go up there at some point, but. Oh. Mineral ball. What? Sweet. Rock, ground, and steel type Pokemon. Area I haven't been to yet. Wait, this is where we started. So we could have just come down here and. Okay. Oh, what's up here? Oh, a TM! Sandstorm. Nice. Uh, what does it say? Village is down. So this is the, uh, the safe way to get here, at least. <laughs> Alright. Finally enter the village now. And let's go explore and see what we can do and find in here. Hello. Before we moved to Shashila village, we had to fight for our lives daily. It was actually illegal for any of us to have children due to the scarcity of food and drinkable water. Ooh. That ain't good. Wow, people from the mainland? That's not something you see every day. Please forgive us if we stare. I don't see outsiders very often. Time to pop a repellent here. Got a boat. I wonder if that will take us. Yo! My dad is a researcher. He studies this place called the Boidal Customs. Name sounds really funny. I hope it's a place for kids. I've placed a request for help at our community center just a few days ago, uh, but unfortunately, most people in the village downright refuse to dabble with the things I'm investigating. Like. Oh, okay. It's all stormy now. Okay, hey, I'm trying to make a living here. Shoe off, please. If you're selling things, I mean, maybe I'll buy stuff. I have money. Maybe not a lot, but I have money. I have 20 grand now. Uh, can we go in these? No, nope, can't go in there, but we can go in here. In. Heal me. Well, that's a little awkward considering we only have two rooms and they're both occupied. 
I won't charge you for it, but if you want to rest up at the cou uh, couches here, that'll be fine. Yeah, sure. I don't care about that. Due to popular demand by dozens of our citizens, we now have our own PC system. Cool. Oh, hi. Why, you look so different from everyone? Can I touch your hair? Sure. <laughs> Empty room. Alright. If you want to save it as well. I feel like it's been a while. Welcome to Shashila Village, friends. We're glad to see that outsiders are finally starting to visit us. Uh, just trying to find a certain person. Can I help you with something? If not, I'll ask you to leave. I'll leave then, sir. Don't want no issues here. What do you guys sell? Tee hee hee, are you interested in my services? Your services? Oh yes, I'm a very renowned inf informant here in Sashila Village. If you, need anything, if you need information on something or someone, I'm your gal. I was looking to find info on some of your friends. Of course, I know why for free. Prices vary depending on the circumstance. Okay. Uh, people. Oh. 7,000. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Looks like I got some saucy info on that hot ready girl. When Alida was young, she admired Akita of Shrouden very much. For Akita's birthday, Alida thought it would be nice to break a cake, uh, bake a cake for him. Alida asked the eldest for help and she agreed. The eldest gave Alida a list of ingredients for Akita's cake, but unfortunately, Alida still couldn't read properly. <laughs> The recipe called for eggs, milk, butter, and cinnamon. Rita was able to collect the eggs, milk, and butter successfully because she had used those before. But it was different with cinnamon. She couldn't read it properly, and she didn't want to disappoint everyone, so she gathered the ingredients as requested. She gathered all the ingredients and mixed it into a batter. While it baked, the eldest claimed the cake had a weird smell. Rita, sweating bullets, confessed that she did not know what cinnamon was. The eldest, amused, took out the cake once it was done and took a taste. Turns out Rita had put eggs, milk, butter, and cilantro. Surely ruined that cake, the eldest couldn't help but laugh. Poor Alita couldn't help but cry her eyes out. It's all I got for now, but I hope it was worth your money. I thought that's going to be important at some point, but yeah, I, I kind of, what, what place do we actually have? Um, return later, okay. More people, uh, I wonder if you just keep getting more, of it, more info on Alita, but she did say that was it. Let's go Tesla. 12,000, okay. Mm. How much is Karen? A bit hard to track, I'll be charging you a little bit more than usual, okay. Karen is obsessed with ruin, excavation, and tomb raiding. Turns out that she is doing that because she's trying to find out about her past. Turns out that she may be from an ancient royal family, but they're long forgotten. One day she found a ruin of her old family, but it was heavily guarded by Garrison magic. In order to open the way, she would have to use magic, but she was inexperienced. Took on an advanced spell and failed miserably. If Garrison magic is not done successfully, it comes with harsh consequences. Because she failed, she lost her mental stability. Her mind warped her view and she became host uh, volatile. She hid herself in for many years until her mind got the best of her. She became her own worst enemy. How much that cost? That cost a like 20 grand. Okay. Uh, yes. Her dinosaur crests? No. Crests are items that were said to have been created by an ancient unnamed king. Supposedly they have the power to empower weaker Pokemon. The reason behind this is, isn't known, but it's incredibly helpful for some Pokemon that have fallen behind. If you ever decide to visit the labyrinth, I highly recommend searching for these artifacts. And tell you what, if you kind of order them, I have something nice for you. Okay. Well, I've got no money to actually go for the trial now, but next time I do, I will definitely, definitely do it. Uh, what else have we got around here? Oh. Is this it? Ooh. I do actually like this place, I think it looks really cool. Volty, thank you for coming. Volty, I would like to thank you for finding Alexandra. But I would also like to thank Ren for fending off her attacker. It was no problem. I just did what I had to do. As for you, Alexandra, please, tell me your thought process here. Because I'm going to be brutally honest here. You're looking like a giant idiot here. You're just going to believe anything anyone ever tells you? I'm sorry, I'm a human being who wants to help people who need it. What a saint. You could have just sent me after them. After all, it was my job to complete tasks like that. Ah. <sighs> Whatever. That's in the past. I don't want to dwell on it anymore. As for, what I, as for what I called you here for. Oh. Oh, are we interrupting something? 
<laughs> a little bit. Um, Damien, who's the boy with the fiery hair? Kind of a friend of Volty. Rena, you should probably stand outside for this one. Nah, I'm not going anywhere, Ren. Not until you give me a proper explanation. But wait, Ren. Uh, as in your brother? The one you were looking for? Uh, yeah. Sorry, Alexandra. I told them only Volty was requested, but they tailed us. No, no, it's okay. More friends? They're more than welcome here. Listen, I haven't had an entire uh, speech prepared. I haven't invited an old friend, but... Looks like he didn't show up, unfortunately. There's something I need to ask of Volty and Ren. Something I can only trust these two to do. Yikes, I'm feeling a little left out here. <laughs> wow. You and Huey aren't even supposed to be here, so sh shush. He's got us there, Reyna. <laughs> like I was saying before, there's a task I only trust Volty and Ren with. Volty, do you know what Zone Zero is? It's the ruins of a city that used to be the pinnacle of Avium's development. But during the tragedy, it was completely wiped out. Well, beyond Zone Zero is Ecclesia Pyramid. Used to sleep beneath the ground, but was mysteriously unearthed recently. Within Ecclesia Pyramid, the spring of rejuvenation lies. I... I need to get to the spring as fast as possible, which is where you come in. Do you need us to escort you there or something? I don't need an escort, no. However, I require you all to take care of something. I tried to get there on my own a while ago, but I was met with a massive sandstorm. It is not unusual for this area to have sandstorms. This was a very different phenomenon. It was stronger, denser, more violent, and seemingly never-ending. That's when I saw it. The thing creating this, the, the entire thing. It was the being of a rift. Oh, A dimensional rift? In the desert? I don't remember Nostalgia telling me about a rift being in the desert. That's because Team Zen does not control this rift. It's under the control of Bladestar. Isn't that Bladestar's technology to create rifts now too? But this is to the reason why my friend I mentioned earlier did not show. Ryland, my friend, is the admin of Bladestar. Let me guess, you want Volti and I to destroy the rift so that the storm will subside? Yes, you two have the experience needed to accomplish this mission. Don't mean to be rude or anything, but I've seen the way you battle, Alexandra. Your strength is... terrifying. Don't understand why you need our help. Please forgive this selfish statement, but if anything were to happen to me, I cannot afford to die now. If only you followed that sentiment earlier today. I... understand. There's just no way you said that. Am I hearing wrong? You're just fine with killing off my brother and Volty just to save yourself? Reyna, you're not involved. Stop it. You're just gonna let her... I am. I already decided. Ren. Honestly, Alexandra, just let me take care of that damn rift. Why go out of your way to involve these children? Children that have nothing to do with any of this. I've learned that Volty has been a part of taking down numerous rifts and Zen members. Even going as far as to gain the title of Team Zen Destroyer. Pretty good title. And Ren is part of Team Zen himself. I cannot see how they are not involved. And they will continue to be involved. Even if I didn't send them off. I just... I don't know what to say to you anymore. <sighs> don't worry, Alexandra. I'll take care of this mission. Don't know about Volty, but... I'll head out for... Alamzia Urban, and then Zone Zero. First thing tomorrow. Thank you so much, Ren. I really appreciate it. Okay. Don't expect you to understand or trust me, but I'm begging you. Please accompany Ren to Zone Zero. If it's a reward you're worried about, then don't. I already have one prepared for you both. Oh, Damien told me about the conversation he had with you at the hospital. So, I'll also tell you more about... Uh, I believe she calls herself Nim now. That being said, you are welcome to stay in the village tonight. I've arranged a room for you all down at the inn. It isn't much, but it's all we have. Please consider what I've asked of you. It's for the good of everyone. Okay. To the inn. Things are about to get uh, a little bit crazy. Alright, sup? Are you okay? I'm just fine. I can't believe that skank told Rennie should die instead of her. Um, that's not really what she said. I mean, it's implied, I guess. Uh, she doesn't want Renault Volty to die. She just can't risk doing it herself. Man, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we just stay in the night here and then... We do what we need to do tomorrow? Oh, yep. Irina, have you seen the books in this place? <laughs> They've got so many wacky things, huh? They all look handwritten too. Guess there's not much to do out here, so everyone just writes down their own uh, thoughts. Oh hey, look at this one. How to cook a live... Ah! Never mind, it's a bad one. <laughs> Reyna, Volty, take a look at this one. Sorry, Huey, I don't really feel like socialising right now. Hey, what's wrong? Come on, you can tell me! 
I'm oh, sorry, I just... I'm thinking about things that are really upsetting. Um, is it about Ren? You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. Well, you gotta tell us something before we make that decision. Okay, I guess I'll tell you. Before my mum had Ren and I, she went to an oracle in Grand Dream City. She was young and dumb, just wanted to have fun. You know, get your readings and see how many kids you have, wh whatever. The oracle said something really peculiar. She said something about the future of her children. Be wary, for your children sh shall clash. One will fight for a bright future, and one will seek to destroy it. Of course, my mum laughed it off went, and went home. My mum thought she was uh, talking out of her ass when she said children, because she was only expecting one child. But it turned out she was having twins. Run and I. You and Ren are twins? I mean, I guess I can see it now that you mention it. He's two hours older, but yeah, pretty much. I believe in the supernatural. I like believing in uh, tarot cards, fairy tales, and legends like that. So for someone like me to hear that, I was worried to say the least. For a long time, I thought I had run under control. Everything seemed fine until one day he just got up and left. He left without telling me or, or my mum or, or anyone. That's when you went off to look for him then. Yeah, and now I found him, but it's too late. Okay, that just skipped on its own. Uh, keep him on my path, it's all my fault. My brother, what happened to you? I bet Ren is good and she's going to turn out evil. 100%. Oh. I don't care who they think they are. They can't just keep me here and constantly experiment on me. I'm not sick and therefore don't need to be here. This must count as some kind of abuse, right? I need to get out of here, quickly. Don't even have my Pokemon. Don't think I can actually get, get them back without getting caught. In that case, let's just make a run for it. I can contact the authorities afterwards. Am I actually playing as her? Oh, I am, okay. Just gotta run. Okay, just need to get to the elevator and pray no one's on it. And pray that there's no one waiting for it either. Lady of Luck, for once, be on my side. Oh. Doctor, is there something wrong? No. I thought I heard something weird, that's all. <gasps> oh, Doctor. The patient is ready to be examined. Is that so? Let's proceed with the experiment then. Oh. Too close. Way too close. So I can like look for the window or something. Okay, elevator, please get here quickly. Come on, come on. Hey, come on, what's going on? I don't even hear the elevator moving at all. I know sometimes elevators can be locked, but in a hospital? Can't just wait for the elevator to come unlocked. If Isha comes out this way, there's no way for me to go. I'll be screwed. Let's just pull this, and... That was more difficult than I expected. But elevator shafts usually have ladders, right? I should still be able to escape this way. And down we go. Okay, looks like I'm on B3, which means... Which means that I'm only three levels below the ground floor. Hey, what's that all the way down there? An underground bunker or something? Why would something like that be in a hospital? Ooh. What say when they see me? To let everyone such a respected doctor as an abusive person while wearing a white gown will just get people to think I've lost it. I need proof that his corruption first. I know there must be undeniable proof below that bunker. Sometimes when you do expose the truth, you have to be a little dumb. Huey, don't hate me for this. Alright, here we go. Down we go. Okay, obviously I don't know any code that would work here. No doubt that the code would be somewhere in uh, Isha's office. This is stupid, this is so stupid, but I guess I'm stupid today. If I remember correctly, Isha's office is on the second floor of the first building. So I need to get to the ground floor and then use the second elevator. Okay. Uh, up we go. To the ground floor. Second elevator. Okay. No is here, that's weird. Okay. I bet this is like part of the experiment or something. I'm kinda confused. Getting to this office was so easy. Just go check his computer. There's gotta be something here. Okay. This is Isha's computer, I'm expecting to ask for a password. No password needed. That's really weird. Well whatever. 
There are a few things I can look at here. Uh, patient profiles. Look at our own profile. It's my own profile. Pain didn't even look at this file. Don't belong here. But you shouldn't let me leave. I already told Huey that I was coming down with a fever when he tried to visit me earlier. Isha, you made me sick. Okay. Uh, mostly... Carmichael? This person named Mosley Carmichael. Seems like they were born in the District of Hope. She's one of the many kids that are missing right now, huh? Gosh, she was so young, too. Only eight years old. Hopefully she turns up soon. Hopefully. And then the last person. Risa Raider's profile is here amongst others. Risa was... Wait. Risa's status is terminally ill, or rather was? There's no way this was public information. If something has got out to the people, or to the public, it would cause an unstoppable storm. An unstoppable storm of support for Risa, of course, but a storm is a storm. I find it weird that she was marked as terminally ill and then suddenly cured. If one is terminally ill, that means that it's over for them, right? Did Risa Raider experience some sort of miracle? Maybe. Archives. Ooh. What's all this now? Dr. Isaiah Halvard? It's all crazy. Why is this on I uh, Isis' computer? This stuff doesn't seem relevant, so I'm not going to pay attention to it too much. Okay. And then you got the question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. This file just has a bunch of numbers with a H in the middle. Something's weird with the H in the middle though. I wonder if this has anything to do with the passcode needed to open up the bunker. Maybe. The image must have had something to do with the passcode. Let's look at the file carefully. I'm always certain the numbers are displayed from the top left and to the right. So if the code is present, it would be in the format, in that format, okay. So... Archives... So it's gotta be... Uh... 8433? Or 8343. That's what it's gotta be. Right. Back we go. With any luck, I'm right. Okay, no one's here yet, so this is good. Right. Let's just quickly see if something bad happens. It's 8433. Oh, can't believe that actually worked. Huey, I did it. Right, Huey's not here. Down we go, I guess. Okay. This doesn't look like a hospital anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Oh, huh? That noise. Sounds like someone crying. Hmm. This window is a tad bit foggy, but I can kind of see what's going on. Wait a minute. It can't be. What? 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 How disappointing. This isn't giving us any good results. Just how exactly are we supposed to extract the memory from this one if they refuse to cooperate? Because it doesn't want, to, want that to happen, obviously. Much to our dismay, sure, but it will succumb to us eventually. We need to be patient or else... Uh, Isa will become extremely irritated with us. And you know how he gets when things don't go his way. Oh, seriously now, come on. Get up. It wasn't that bad. All we did was try to break your mind. Nothing more than that. Talking to it like that will only anger it. I already had a burn mark on my arm from last time. Call it and set the machine for another round. Not long until this thing decides to give up. This is... This is just so awful. How could they do this? I have to help that Braxian somehow. Maybe there's something around here that will disable that machine. Come on, Lavender. You came this far. Let's not get scared now. Alright, uh, this thing? That's probably just a light. Uh. Okay, don't want to go that way. Maybe underneath. 
Nope. Oh, uh, we saw it from. Okay. Uh, this. Okay. Uh, I don't believe it. It's one thing after another with this place. I think this is where our hard earned tax dollars are spent on. Let's go check on the monitor. Okay. And now we can go in. Now to help out that Braxton and get out of here. Right. Braxton, you alright? Hey, are you okay? Please get up. Uh, I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? So please, just follow me. Hold on, didn't Melia and Vietnam tell me about Nona Braxian? You remember now, she mysteriously disappeared along with their other friends. Surely they can't be the same one, right? It's a little odd, but I think I should try asking. Uh, by the way, this might sound kind of weird, but... Do you, by any chance, know the name Vietnam? Ooh. So you do know them. I'm a friend of theirs. I can take you to them when we escape, so just follow me. Okay, uh oh. This is just great. There's got to be another way to the elevator. Hey wait, don't run off, we'll get caught. Uh oh. Uh... Guess we go through here. Wait. Nothing on the computer, okay. We should be good in here for the time being. But they aren't moving. Come on. I'm trying to get out of here. What is it, Braxian? Huh? Oh, Giratina? This is a Pokemon, isn't it? The legendary Pokemon Giratina. I feel like you're trying to say something, but I can't understand you. Oh. What? Oh, I got it. I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Come on, get up. This is no time to sleep. In any case, I was thinking, maybe we should free this Pokemon too. If uh, Aisha is keeping this thing down here, it can't be good. What should I do? Let's release it. You seem against this idea, and I realise why that would be. But just the thought of keeping this thing down here makes me sick. Yeah, exactly. If I just starts to rampage with this thing in his arsenal, I think this is the right move. Let's see here. Uh, please be quiet. We're all here to escape this miserable place. So please cooperate with us, and we'll be out of here in a jiffy. Giratina's just like, nah, mate, I'm out of this. <laughs> there's a sign of complaints? I'm sorry, I meant mutual cooperation between two equal groups. Now, I have no idea how I'm going to get a Pokemon this huge out, but we'll make it work. Do you think we didn't hear you walking around in here? Uh oh. Crap, we took too long in here. That's right, little lady, you shouldn't be... Oh, oh no. She released the Giratina Isha Core. This is bad. We can't fight a legendary Pokemon like Giratina. Legendary Pokemon? Giratina? You want to fight, Braxian? Looks like Giratina wants to as well. Well, what do you say? Still want to stand in our way? We're going to fight you no matter what. Legendary Pokemon or not, you're still outnumbered. Ho <laughs> ho ho. Alright, let's do this. Our Giratina or our team, there's no way we lose. Uh, let's go for a Shadow Ball, take out that, because I could be a pain in the butt. And hypnosis the muck. Nice, goodbye, dumb eyes. Okay, not good. Uh, let's go for a nice ancient power on the muck so we can get the stat boosts. Doubt it, but if we did, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, thanks for the extra little bit of help, Oregon 2. Appreciate it. Nice, goodbye, muck. Forest Fear Clang. Bustle, okay. And shadow Ball, that bad boy. Giratina too strong, man. Giratina too strong. Oh, Paralysis, okay. Kind of annoying, but it's fine. Uh, 
guessing I can't use the items I had on my persons before. Check. If I can, be sweet. Oh, I can. Yeah, boy. Whew. The next we get rid of the uh, paralysis. There's two trainers, isn't there? To make sure that we uh, actually have some chance against them. Don't you dare paralyze me again. That would suck. Oh, come on. You know what? Screw it. I don't care. Thunder, that's fine. Discharge again, it's fine. Aura Sphere. Right, I'm gonna quickly make sure we're healthy. Again. Please don't paralyze, please don't paralyze, please don't paralyze. Oh, can you just not paralyze me, mate? I would really much appreciate if you don't paralyze me, just once. Oh my god, are you actually taking the biscuit? Taking the biscuit, you are. Just gonna stay paralyzed, why not? Better get paralyzed this turn, bet ya. Oh wow, cool. Alright. Ha! Huh. How does it feel then? We're unstoppable! So this is the power of a legendary Pokemon. Now, move aside before... Oh, oh don't leave us here! <laughs> hey fellas, about before. <laughs> Run! Whoa! What to do, what to do? What's gonna happen to you now, Lavender? I told you not to make any attempt to escape. You're very sick, you see. And now you've released this putrid Braxian from her confinement. I didn't expect you to be such a uh, tactless patient, Lavender. Don't worry though, I'll fix any loose ends. But Braxian, leave me! I'll be fine. I can't go any further. Just go! Nix is right here. If that's what you want. Whether or not you escape is not of my concern. You no longer have the device that allowed you to eff effectively communicate with humans. Impress a device constructed by none other than uh, Saki Blakery. Braxian, go! Now, what shall we do with you? Oh, snap. Well, I think there's a good place to end this episode off. Next episode. We go and do Alexandra's request, and we go and take on the Dimensional Rift. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.